Oh yeah, Alex, Hi, would Alex. you like to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. Who are you? <laughs> ah, Alice, why don't you tell us about Chrono Trigger? What? Uh, Chrono Trigger, what a fantastic game. Am I right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. no dissent here? The end. God, I weighted this in, in favor of positivism. Mm. How shameful. Bias. <laughs> yep, that's me. Actually, have you ever met anyone who doesn't like Chrono Trigger? I, I've seen people who occasionally say it's overrated. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I've I never heard met anyone. Backed up or I don't yeah, think dude, no. they're just like I don't. I don't think it's as good as everyone says. Well, I remember uh -huh. you writing something at some point about like you know making fun of people who uh, just sort of truly believe that RPGs like stopped advancing with Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger and then have never gotten ever 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 gotten back there and like. But I well, think it was you. What <laughs> <laughs> making that comment? Jeremy what, hates that Chrono Trigger? You hate Chrono Trigger? Oh no, no, God. no. That has nothing to do with hating Chrono Trigger. Right. That's my—that's <laughs> me saying that, yes, there have been some pretty good ideas in RPGs mm -hmm. since Chrono Trigger. Right. It's not but the for last a lot of good RPG. For a lot of people, it is like that those two games are like the stopping point, and they feel like nothing has ever like come even close to matching that again. That is yeah, easily the well, last RPG I actually went through multiple times to mm -hmm. get all the endings and right, actually right, gave right. enough right. of a shit to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't since. No, I feel like even if, even if what people like about Chrono Trigger is the kind of old school simplicity of it. Mm -hmm. There's still Suikoden 2, which is a bigger game, but it definitely has that kind of like stripped down minimalism. Yes, it has 108 characters, but that's kind <laughs> of like a little gimmick. Yeah. Um, the actual gameplay itself is like super fast paced. Like the battles go like that. Um, but that's kind of beside the point. Mm -hmm. We're talking about mm -hmm. Chrono Trigger, not Suikoden. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. yeah. You know, the thing with Chrono Trigger is it's like they made a list of everything I fucking hate about RPGs and said, we're not going to do that. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, the on map battles were there, the, the, the no random ambush shit, the, you know, just storyline cop outs that, that either didn't exist or got parodied, mm -hmm. you know. So let's, that's let's, let's, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, I think that's what I like the most about Chrono Trigger, probably is like the on map battles, the, where you see your enemies, you go into battle, and it doesn't take you to that weird, like, whoosh, now you're in this magical. They get a little cop out near the end. Loading. I mean, earlier on, they're kind of doing cute shit, kicking a ball around. And then later on, they just sort of warp in. Yeah. It's like a Ninja Turtles game. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's never too bad, and it never takes you out of the, the place you're in. No. So let's, let's talk a little bit about just what Chrono Trigger is. Let's assume that someone listening to this has been unfortunate enough to go all their lives without having played Chrono Trigger or yes. having ever even heard of it. Mm. Chrono Trigger is the predecessor to Blue Dragon. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? What? No, I, I totally agree with that statement. <laughs> no. Like, that's no. when people Blue say, Dragon oh, they should make another even Chrono. Compare. Well, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't compare. compare. Trigger. But I mean, when people, when I hear people saying, oh, they should make another Chrono game, it's like, they did. It's called Blue Dragon. It's yeah. like, that's like three, not two thirds of the people who are on that team. It's like, that's what they would make if they got together and made another game. They needed Masato Kato's <laughs> input, I think. I, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so anyway, yeah, Chrono Trigger anyway. was a 1996 Six. RPG. It was I think pretty damn late. It was uh, okay. It was pretty late. It was it was ninety five. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ninety six right. was Super Mario RPG. That was the last right. notable. Right. Like N sixty four. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Nineteen ninety five RPG by it was created in collaboration uh, by Square and Enix back before they were Square Enix. I don't think that Enix actually participated. No, I think they just loaned some, of, people. Yuji, some of you Enix's main people like Yuji yeah, Hori. Yeah, Hori was always uh, he was in he was independent. I mean, he had his own company called Armor Project. I mean, Enix. He's a freelancer. That's why he could, you know. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I know. Square Enix were like bitter rivals. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that was why it was so significant because it was the creator of the creators of the two biggest RPGs right. ever, mm. Final Fantasy getting and together, getting it on Dragon Quest, getting together and basically saying, let's create an RPG that takes all these great ideas and is totally exuberantly fun mm -hmm. and kind of base it loosely on some of the Final Fantasy systems, yeah. but not really. Casting off all the things that would have sort of shackled them uh, in w if, it w if it had to be a Final Fantasy or a Dragon Quest game and getting a little looser, you know? Yeah, it was kind of the equivalent of, like, the... Uh the super bands from the 80s like asia <laughs> except it was awesome <laughs> instead of cheesy right right and it so was nothing awesome. like that <laughs> but yeah chrono trigger let's see the main uh, the main creators were hironobu sakaguchi the creator of final fantasy mm -hmm. yuji hori the mm -hmm. creator of dragon quest the art was provided by akira toriyama yep. who did dragon quest and dragon ball uh, the music and was by nobu uematsu and yasunori the music was credited in the opening credits and like and, and all the promotional stuff like to uematsu right but he did like four tracks three Really? Yeah. Was it only I never three? knew that. Yeah. Most of well, which I didn't like. I there, were, there, were, there were four. I don't know. 
three used in the game and one that was not. Oh, right, the, the, the same oh, map or whatever the hell. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know how far we're jumping ahead of ourselves, but this was Mitsuda's like first. He was doing sound programming. Like if you played Final Fantasy V and you hear the dragon go, ah, like that was Mitsuda doing that. <laughs> and then wow, he was like, very good. And he's like, I don't want to. Yeah, I know. And he's like, I don't. I really don't want to do you know dragon anymore. But um, and and I want to you know make a soundtrack or I'm gonna quit. And so they're like, fine, do this game, and uh, be careful what you wish for because he ended up like putting himself in the hospital, um, working too hard on it and that's when they brought in Uematsu and had him just like finish it up but, but then was, they didn't credit it him for it was worth hospitalization because it totally the music was. is so good the music is brilliant and I think I mean unfortunately like it's not it's not me too